Hello, hello, my non-existent viewers. This is Hyarkaria bringing you a very special cast of a very special game, which I don't actually normally play, but this is April, and they managed to do something really nice with this game, which made me come back and play it. It's called Earth, and uh, it basically reduces the cooldown of everyone's uh, abilities, as well as remove the mana cost for all spells. So it's April, it's Earth, it's time to dick around, which is why I'm playing this game right now. Now, I actually, the last time I played this game was in 2011, when I think Brand was released, and also I was around for Vayne and Rumble. So that was basically the only time when I played this game, and then I sort of quit because it didn't exactly agree with my playstyle of, of video games. So... Now I'm back playing this game, I actually I have no idea what's happening. Uh, the only portraits I recognize here is the Jax, the Vagar, and the Maokai. The Master Yi was around, but uh, his portrait has been reworked, so has the Morgana's portrait. Anyways, so this is Earth, where everyone is sort of uh, not knowing what they're doing. Which is exactly why I play this game, and also I, t I tend to like to sort of throw shit around. Now, one thing I do like to mention before the game gets started is that... Okay, there we go. The game the game did start. I actually thought my recorder froze there. Now, the one thing that I have to... Uh, a couple of things, actually, that I have to mention is that, first of all, I do get the items that I used to buy, which is boots and potions. Now, I do remember buying uh, mana it's potions for Vagar. Because you kind of need mana in order to do stuff, but in Earth mode, the uh, mana is gone, so just like start dumping all my minerals inside uh, health potions. And second of all, this is commentary, yes. which I don't <laughs> normally do. Now I'm used to just playing video games and uh, commentating while I play it, but in Earth I sort of don't know what's happening, since it's League of Legends after all, and that's not a game that I play at all. So, live commentary, I, I don't really know how that will turn out. And also, this has been recorded while I've actually played the game. I actually don't know how the replay tool works, so I apologize for that in advance, but uh, I don't really know what what difference it'll make if I uh, use a replay tool. I mean, sure, I'll get to see a lot more people playing, but I don't really know what's going on, for one. And uh, second of all, I think just seeing my cam will give me a slightly more idea of what's going, what I was thinking while I was playing this game. Now one reoccurring thing on Earth is that people like to face check the bush a lot, either that or it's just the lower leagues in general. I do drop my fire on him and to deal a little bit more damage. Probably if I got my stun first and I would have probably guaranteed the kill, because that stun does last a full two seconds and it comes back extremely quickly, giving my allies some time to uh, take down whoever decides to face check the bush, which is a master E at this, uh, in this matchup. Now, stuns are actually really overpowered in this game, I would, I would like to think that. Now the reason I say that is because all your ability cooldowns has been reduced, but the uh, the stun hasn't actually been reduced uh, that much at all uh, in terms of stun duration. Now the ability has been reduced I think by 80%, but the, uh, the actual stun uh, duration has been reduced by I believe 20%, which means stuns are going to effectively last a lot uh, longer than they should allowing you to deal a lot more damage uh, to your opponents by using that stun. Now I did get my uh, first ability first, uh, I don't actually know what it's called, I just call it a blah, 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 attack because that's the sound it makes when it hits something. I, I got that first and now with the cooldown almost completely removed, which means I can use that all the time, it means that if I uh, get a lot of minion kills then I should be able to power myself up extremely quickly. I do notice this later on in the game when I can actually one hit those minions and I just feel like getting that, uh, get, getting all those Qs in would uh, actually get me more ability power than if I bought items. So that's something to know about Earth. I think Vagar has actually been uh, tiered up. I also know a couple of other champions which has been tiered up. I seem to remember playing one game with this horse guy that someone forgot to ban and he basically went on and just, just like Beybladed in and completely destroyed everyone. So if you're playing this Earth, or actually that's not around anymore, and they actually banned him in the second week of Earth, but uh, do please ban the horse guy. I think his name is Hecarim. Uh, but yeah, I just call him the horse guy because he's the only horse guy in the game. And he just sort of Beyblades in and goes horse, 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 and completely annihilates everyone. Which is actually pretty fun if you play him. But not really fun if you're playing against him. So over here you see me failing to, uh, to drop that Q down, and also I did get my stun as my second skill. Like I said, the stuns in this game are actually pretty overpowered. 
in my opinion, so I sort of got that stun and I started throwing that shit around the ground because one of the things I noticed about Earth is that you get a lot less risk with using your spells. Now in a normal game, this stun I believe takes around 10 to 12 seconds to come back up, which means if you miss one, then you sort of don't have that stun for a really long time, which means someone can actually uh, hand your ass really, really quickly. But in this game, since the stun actually stays on the ground for a while, its cooldown is kind of non-existent. Which means you get to uh, throw it around on the ground and do shit like this. And I managed to pick up that Master Yi right there because that stun came back up. But like I said before, that stun, you can just throw that shit on the ground. And if for nothing else, if you can stun the people and then drop that spell on him, then well, good for you because that's going to hurt like a bitch. But if you can't, then at least it'll force them to walk around that stun. And uh, when they finally do walk around that stun, you can put another one in front of them and force them to walk around again. Which will delay them, and uh, potentially they'll walk into one and uh, take some damage from either your Q or your W. Now, you do see that stun reduction taken into, uh, taken into account there, when that Master Yi sort of runs out of that stun circle. And it seems like our Morgana sort of left because uh, she can put up with this garbage. But yeah, you do see that kicking into effect right there, that stun reduction, which means that Master Yi is going to be able to get away from that first level stun without the W even uh, hitting him at all. But this is uh, two people against one, and I don't actually know why we're equally leveled. Now we just see someone else teleporting in right now, this uh, happens to be a Jax, which is actually level 3, I don't know why. He should be a higher level than us, because since this is a double person lane, uh, I've been laning with this whoever is champion, I, I, that, that I don't recognize because he wasn't around when I used to play this game, but uh, we've been laning two champions per lane and we ha we are level 4, so if that Jax is in solo mid then he would be higher level and if he was on bottom then he would be uh, the same level as us. My ally do decide to teleport back and one of the things I have to mention is that the teleport has also been reduced which means that the teleport actually comes back up in about 30 seconds which means you can pretty much use it whenever you want and it'll be up after you want to use it again. That also goes for summoner skills that are not teleport like the burn or ignite or whatever it's called. Which is why you see me pick it, because I think that I'm better at early game than uh, late game. Just because I don't really know what's happening when there's a shit ton of people doing random shit, and uh, shit gets flying, uh, sh sent flying everywhere. And I usually end up with me being dead, which is not exactly fun. Now my ally is killing all these minions, which means I'm gonna have a lot of difficulty trying to power up. So I, I'm not exactly as good as I should be. Now in early game, like I was saying before, what I used to do is get that ignite and either get that stun or that Q off and pull that ignite on as another damage dealer. Now we do see Morgana teleporting in. Morgana is actually really overpowered in, in this game because she has almost that permanent stun. Now she does run into my circle of stun which means I get to throw some more magic balls at her. Uh, over here you do see me utilizing that stun and uh, it's a non-existent cooldown to just throw that shit on the ground and force people to run around. As you can see, the Jack sort of went somewhere else. He either went uh, to a different lane or sh just like went around the bush in order to come from behind. Now I do see someone on my team inside that bush. I do stun at Morgana right now. We, uh, we all try to focus her down, but the Master Yu shows up and uh, they, they managed to, to uh, survive being killed for now. We do see the Morgana ran into the, uh, run into the stun circle again and so does the Master Yi. But we, uh, we're not exactly able to kill them. I do uh, put the stun down again, forcing the Morgana to a run back. Morgana pops her shield, which I believe blocks spell damage, because I remember my uh, roommate who plays this game says that he played Morgana and the opponent was a Bliss Crank and he was just like not getting grabbed at all. Either way, this turret is actually pretty low on health, so we can probably take that down. There is three of us, and there's only the one Morgana and the one Master Yi. I don't actually know where the Jax went, and I really don't care. I do throw a bunch of shit at the Morgana. But the Master Yi charges forward and Morgana is actually not going to run into the stun but the Master Yi is and I just start pressing random buttons and I uh, kill the Master Yi. Now with this, the Morgana is probably forced back because the turret has absolutely no health and now it will go down but it seems like the Morgana sort of just uh, doesn't want to go back. Now my ally does run forward and pick up that kill which is nice. Now with that one turret down I'm going to feel a little bit uneasy about moving forward because there's going to be a large distance between their turret and my turret, which means people that actually can charge in is going to be a kind of annoying because I'm kind of a slow champion, I'm kind of squishy, so I'm going to die a lot easier. 
So I'm probably gonna choose to switch lanes over here. I don't exactly remember what happens. I do decide to drop a ward. Now I don't actually care if people are in the bush because you can just throw a stun at them and just start throwing W's at them. And with that damage, if that damage is dealt, if they decide to uh, remain undetected by uh, not coming out of the bush and tanking that W, then I'll have a nice advantage after my stun goes down. To, uh, and that stun will actually recharge extremely quickly, allowing me to use that stun again and probably win that fight. Now I do decide to teleport to the bottom right now because, again, like I said, the top is actually really far away from my turret. Now someone does decide to tank my W at that big back guy who's also not been around uh, when I used to play. And I do throw a, sh a lot of shit down. So one thing that's good about that stun is that if you spam that and someone gets stuck getting attacked by the tower, they will take a lot of damage. Now this is, uh, this is at level 7 right now, which means people don't actually have a lot of health. Now I just start dropping that stun again and hoping people run into it. That big fat guy is actually really bad at throwing his anchor or whatever shit that is. I just decided to throw my Q at people because that Q actually starts hurting after you get enough ability power. Now Maokai do teleport in. Maokai is actually another really overpowered champion in this game because you can just start throwing that fruit all the time. Now I do decide to throw my ult at people because that ult literally has a half minute cooldown. So the next time I want to use it, it'll probably be up. Unless of course this guy, uh decide to survive being killed, but he, he, he doesn't, he just, he just dies. I do like to power up my W because Subish told me to. Now, Subish is my League of Legends mentor. He taught me everything I know about this game. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to be good. Now, he is a very good player, I'm going to tell you that much. And I do play a game with him where I just sort of die. And that's, that's something that happens a lot when we used to play together. I would be doing the dying and he would be doing the killing and we'd end up winning somewhat at the end. But it's all fun stuff. Now, if we do see someone teleporting in again, it seems like it's a Jackson and Morgana. I don't know where the Master Yi went. I'm gonna leave bottom alone right now and just start throwing shit again on the ground, abusing that lack of cooldown. We do see uh, me picking out that Master Yi kill right over there. And that Morgana just like sitting there, which uh, gives me another kill. Our ally do go down, and that Jack seems to uh, get away, sadly. Our ally don't decide to teleport in again and try and kill him because then usually you tank the tower and you die and uh, you're a, that makes you a very sad person. I do decide to go back because I think I noticed that I'm banking 2,000 money which means I should be able to buy some items. Now I don't remember what items I buy. I do keep a little piece of paper beside me when I play this game. It's uh, it's full of pro tips from my League of Legends mentor Suppish. He, he gave me a list of items that I should buy based on generic builds. I don't actually play champions that he plays. Uh, I think he actually plays champions that require skill to play. And also this is Earth. So a lot of champions that are shit tier sort of becomes uh, overpowered. These, these are suspicious words. He's saying a lot of champions are a shit tier. And one of them actually got banned at the very very beginning. Now I, did, I do get suppressed by the Morgana, I think. I don't really know what she did. Either that or was just herp derping around, but I do get killed over there. It's not, not a big deal, I mean. Uh, I, I already killed six people and I died once, so I'm paying for myself in terms of uh, whoever built me. And I don't really know how much mineral or Vespine gas that I cost, but I, th I think I'm paying for myself by killing a bunch of other people and not dying as much. Now I think I do decide to go to the bottom because the top is a lane that I don't want to be in because of the distance between the towers. And also there's really not that many people here. There are two people down at the bottom, which I can uh, kill. But it seems like this Malkai is actually doing a really good job killing people. He does manage to pick that kill up with my stun. I don't actually believe I did any damage there. Now I can, I can actually pick, pay a lot more attention to things if I'm uh, watching the game and not actually playing. The Jax just decided to teleport right into my stuff, uh, immediately getting killed because I'm kind of overpowered. Especially with the uh, massive amount of Qs that this has been thrown around, boosting my ability power. I don't actually know if I'm doing a good job, but uh, I, I would like to believe that. I think at this point I discovered that my W can actually hit further than the tower, which means I get to freely throw our shit around. And if someone manages to walk into that, well, they take a shit ton of damage. And Morgana does uh, actually survive being killed. We do see someone else teleporting in and uh, immediately tanking that W. Or not really. But he's gonna tank that W right there, and I feel like that guy is a pretty tanky champion. I do pick up another kill L by randomly throwing shit around, which is something that happens a lot in this game. And the fat guy decides to sort of stay behind the tower because he doesn't want to tank more of my abilities. I'm gonna throw that stun down, he's gonna use that overpowered ability called Walk, which seems to own uh, Protoss armies when you're Terran or Zerg. 
but uh, he, he does decide to stay behind a tower where he thinks it's safe. Now, Maokai does throw more crap at him, and I decide to throw my ultimate ability at him because I know it'll be up when I decide to use it again, even though he had one health and my Q or even an auto attack would have finished it. You know, that's just me. I don't know how to play this game. I'm just gonna throw shit around and hopefully something works. Now, I do decide to go back there and cancel out of it for whatever reason, which I forgot. I think I have to put a ward over here so I can teleport into it later uh, when I want to teleport into it. Now, we, I do see another level 7 uh, character moving in. And I'm level 10, so even though I can't really trust my ability to win a battle, and he's probably gonna kill me right here, I decided to choose to fight him anyways. And as you can see, I'm pretty low on health. He walks into that stun right now, which means he's gonna tank one, and so, so is the Jax. Now, the Jax is gonna kill me here, but not before I pick up another kill from that guy that I reduced to almost no health, but he is going to uh, pick me up as a kill, and that gives me some chance to buy some items so it was all part of my plan dying is part of my plan it's all good i don't want to spend that 10 seconds trying to uh, teleport back so i can buy more items so uh over here uh, we do see i think i'm trying to work on the death spiral grasp which i think suffish actually told me to get first so y you know when you're playing this game you don't exactly read the list in the exact same order that you want you just sort of, oh, this is an item on the list, I'm gonna go buy it. Either way, over here I do decide to uh, kill a bunch of minions. Again, with my W, I would have probably preferred to use my Q to kill them, because that will give me ability power, but I don't think that my my minions would have survived long enough for me to uh, throw all that Qs at their minions, and they'll probably run into the tower, and the tower probably uh, kill them, which is not exactly what I want. At this point, I think I discovered that my Q can one-hit the... Uh, close combat minions as well as the caster minions in one hit, which means I can just really throw shit at people. Now that Q actually does have a little bit of cooldown, which means you can't just spam it all the time. I do mix in a couple of normal attacks from, from now and then. And over here we... I, I think actually this is the point where I start discovering that I can actually kill those minions in one hit. But that, that's not really important right now, my Q is powering up my ability power by one every time I kill one of these minions. And right now I do decide to back up because I don't exactly want to attack the tower right now. And I believe reading that my Q can actually get me more ability power if I kill a stronger enemy. So I decided to try that out on this giant thing, but it just takes way too long to kill, so I'm just going to go back to these minions for now. I do see someone jump out of that bush, I'm going to drop that stun on him, but my stun misses as usual. I do see more people teleporting in, so I managed to pick up that one kill, and then I start dropping stuns, forcing people to walk around while I run or walk slowly back to my tower. And over here we do see some battles going on on the middle lane, which I decide to join in because, well, if I can't deal much damage, which is unlikely because my W does so much damage and people tend to walk into it so very much in Earth, especially with the low level that I'm playing at, I can still be yeah, used as a stun bot, so I do finally manage to pick up that Morgana for killing me earlier in that game, and I'm after he decides to run away, but uh, he doesn't survive being killed because my ally knows how to use that blink properly, uh, whereas I just completely forget about my ignite after the uh, beginning of the game where I drop it on the first person that decides to face, face check the bush. So over here I do decide to teleport back knowing that I have a lot of uh, money built up so I can uh, probably spend that on some items. And I do use the search function to the best of it, uh, my ability because I don't actually know what the items are. We do lose a turret down bottom but that's okay, there's a lot of people teleporting in which means I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna try and kill them all. But they seem to have some sort of thing that can grab me, which means I'm gonna basically die, not, but not before picking up another kill because they just deal way too much damage. And apparently that forces everyone else back because they know better than to stick around uh, my dead body because that, that actually deals a lot of damage. No, I'm not Karthus, so that's, that's bad. But the Maokai here does get taken down. I don't know why he's not throwing a bunch of fruits in the bush because that's what a good Maokai should do in Earth. Or at least I've seen that happen a lot, and then someone face checks a bush and they die and a Maokai is nowhere near, uh, nowhere near the, the, the bush. And it's actually quite hilarious, especially if you retard magnet the entire enemy army into the fruits. Now I do see a giant clump of minions built up up top, so I decided to teleport over there and throw some cues at it, so that I can get basically a free item. And that seems to work really well for me. At this point, I think my Q actually is a better source of ability power than items. And I don't think I have enough to one-hit the guy on the wagon shooting a cannonball or whatever. 
I don't think I can ever build up enough ability power to one hit that with a Q without powering up fully. But you know, while, while, while I'm queuing everything else, my other minions are sort of working on that one, bringing it down to low enough health that I can one hit it. I do see a lot of people down bottom, so I can. So I started walking to this tower because my teleport is actually on cooldown, and I do decide to teleport even though I'm relatively close to that. I don't actually know where the Morgana went. Nah, it seems like our Morgana died, but that doesn't matter. And our turret did go down over here. Top is still doing well, but the other turrets are sort of doing really shittily. I do start throwing all my spells at this guy, but he apparently survives being killed. So. What you do once you stop, uh, once you ran out of spells to throw is you wait one second and you start throwing more shit at people. And I do manage to pick up this guy as a, as my next kill. Apparently denying my whole team of kills, but that's okay because I like throwing shit at people. And if I shit recharges in two seconds, then I'm never gonna run out of shit to throw. Now that Master Yi does try and run away, but I try and drop a stun down. And it hits him over here, but uh, I'm a little bit too slow. He does pop that ability on him, which puts blades in his hands, I think. It's from that yo-yo uh, ghost sword or whatever it is. Now when I was playing Master Ayi myself, I found that that item is actually pretty good because you can just activate it and it's active is 20 seconds or something and it recharges in 30 seconds. So I basically kept that up all the time and use it to run around and not actually use it to deal damage, which is perfectly fine because at least I'm making use of my items. Unlike over here where I always forget to use my Deathfire Grasp. Now when I used to play this game, I do remember my Deathfire Grasp somewhat. I do lock my Deathfire Grasp on my T key, which is beside my ultimate, and when I'm spamming my abilities, I usually end up coming up last. Now when I used to play, I think that dealt a flat 40% damage to your opponent's health. Or your opponent's remaining health. Now this guy does try to hide in the bush, but I know where he is, so I throw a stun down and uh, we managed to pick up that kill right there. And we do force everyone else back. Uh, kills right now is at 17 to 3, I believe. I can't actually tell that. My screen's kind of weird in terms of the resolution. I'm pretty sure you all can have a better look at the number of kills. But the point is not how many kills of death I have exactly. Is the, uh, the point is that I have a shit ton of kills and almost no death. So that just shows that how imbalanced Earth makes and how fun Earth can be. Because, well, all the balance the sort of goes to shit anyways. Now I'm not saying imbalance is good, but imbalance every once in a while is pretty fun. I do decide to teleport down here even though there's not that many minions to kill, but uh, there's still ability power to be gained, so I teleport down here and start killing people. And I do notice a lot of people are at mid, which means that the enemy team will probably retard magnet it out into the middle lane. And as I can see right now, the teleport does happen in the middle lane. I do decide to try and push this tower even though I deal absolutely no damage because well a lot of minions can actually deal a lot of damage and my Q can actually destroy their minions faster than they spawn which gives my minions some tower uh, some time to work on the tower as you can see over here and now I do decide to attack it a little bit and I feel like my uh, my attacks are actually doing a little bit I do see someone teleport in so I drop that stun so they walk into it but I'm extremely bad at dropping my stun so that doesn't, doesn't really happen I do drop that stun right over there because I don't feel like I can take out two of them and I do want to kill two of them at the same time. So I want to stay alive in case one of my allies show up so that they can tank the enemy team while I run away or deal the damage. Whichever one seems to uh, be higher, uh, to be more likely. I do drop a ward in that bush and see him hide over there. I was going to drop my W but he seems to have moved out. So that's not gonna happen. I do run back because I still don't trust my ability to take on both of them at the same time. I do see some shit happening in the middle lane. There are people teleporting in. But, you know what? If I retard magnet at two of them down to the bottom and there's a 4v3 on the middle lane, then that's then I've done my job. So I decided to teleport out top over here to gain more ability power so that whoever runs into my W can just outright die, saving my Q and ultimate on someone else who will also die if they're unfortunate enough to run into me. But uh, it, it does seem like our team is doing really well in the middle over there, which doesn't exactly leave me a lot of kills. Now, we do see some people trying to cut off my towers in the back of my base, so I decide to uh, teleport back, potentially to buy some items, or to uh, just, just kill these people. But they know better, so they, what they end up doing is dying and then probably leaving the game. Victory!